Hello, my name is Paul from Aberdeen Science Centre. Would you like to design your own game? Well, in this video, we're going to talk all about game design with some super simple coding. I'll show you how to get started in making your own games. All you'll need is an internet connection and a computer, tablet or smartphone to get started. You just need to go to your browser of choice and head to arcade.makecode.com. This website has all kinds of guides to make lots of different kinds of 2D games, from puzzle games to even RPGs. Today we're going to make a simple platformer, a bit like Super Mario or Sonic the Hedgehog. We'll start by making a new project. I'm going to call mine Moon Disaster. Uh, that's what my game's going to be about, but you can make yours called whatever you like. This is the coding screen. To make things simple, we're going to stick with blocks for now, but you can use JavaScript or Python if you wish. All the different blocks are separated into categories at this side here. The first thing we're going to do is make a backdrop for our game. So if we head over to the scene section and we grab the one that says set background image to, we drag that into on start. If we click on here, we can set our image. You can draw your own one if you like, or if you go into the gallery, you see some default ones here. I'm going to pick the earth. I'm not going to change anything about that, but you can if you wish. I'm going to hit done here. If you wait a second, you can already see it coming up on the side here. Next, we're going to create the map for our level. In game design, this is called a tile map. So if you head back into the scene section, and grab the set tile map two, and put that underneath it. And then when you click on this part here, it'll open up our tile map editor. First thing you might notice is that our level here is a bit small. So what we can do is we can make it a bit wider by going down to this number here and changing the number. I think 50 is a good number, but feel free to change it and experiment and see what you and see what works for you. Um, next, we're going to choose a tile to work with. So you can make your own one by clicking on this plus here. I'm just going to click one in the gallery here. I think this one looks good. And I'm going to quickly put together a level. and make sure there's some bits they can jump over. We go. So we've got a basic structure for our level. So we've got a couple of things we need to add to make it functional. So we need a place for the character we're gonna to make to spawn to be the start of the level. Another block is going to show the end of our level. So when our character crosses this, uh, they beat the level. And we need one more that's going to show any obstacles. So I'm just going to pick the bottom here. Now the last thing we need to do is make sure that there are walls in this game. So you do that by clicking on this one here and you'll see this red bar there here. That means our character won't fall through the world. So we put that everywhere we want a wall or a platform. Go. 
but we don't want our character to phase through. Don't worry about it showing up in red here, that's just in the editor so we know where it is. And that is our level made. You don't have to copy me, you can make whatever level you like. Now that we have our level, it's time to create our character or sprite. A sprite is a 2D graphic or picture that can move around the screen. So to do that we'll need to go into the sprites section. Grab the one that is set sprite to sprite blank of kind player. Move that underneath there. You click on this, we can make our sprite. So you can create your own, you can go into the gallery, go from a selection. I'm going to quickly make a spaceman here because my game takes place on the moon. Perfect, so here's my character. You can make your own if you wish. You see my character in the middle here. We'll need it to spawn at the start of our level. So if we go into scene, we go all the way down to place my sprite on top of random. And we'll change this random block to the block we set as our start point. So you'll see we can't see our sprite right now because we need to add one more thing is camera follow my sprite. So the camera will always follow our sprite around. There you go. And there he is at the start of the level. Next, we're going to figure out how to make them move. To make our character move, we'll need to go into controller and move sprite with buttons. Now see our character can move, but since this is a platformer, we don't want our character moving up and down. So if you go into this, hit the plus button, you'll see we'll have VX, so across, and VY, which is up and down. If we turn Y to zero, you'll see our character can move side to side, but can't move up and down anymore. Now there is one quick thing we need to add to make sure our character doesn't fly off the screen. And it is we need to set my sprite to stay in screen. There's one thing, more thing we need to do to our sprite. We need to add gravity. Um, so our sprite's not just floating around here. To do that, we'll need to go into sprites and set sprite X. And you're looking for acceleration Y. You change that number to, I think 250 is a good number. Uh, this is how much downward force will be on your character. Uh, as long as the number is positive, it will be fine. Uh, but experiment and see what works for you. Now, we wouldn't have a very good platformer if our character couldn't jump. So let's do that now. So we'll need to add an input so when we push the A button, our character is going to jump. And we do that by going into sprites, set sprite X, and we find the one called velocity Y. Now, you'll remember when we set our gravity, we made a downward force, which is a positive number. So our, you're going to need to do the opposite of that to go in the opposite direction. So we're going to make that a negative number. I'm going to make my jump velocity 150, but feel free to experiment with that and see what happens. Now our character can jump. Now you might notice a problem where our character can infinitely jump forever. That doesn't make for a very fun game. So we're going to quickly fix that now. 
we're going to need some logic. Grab the if true block. And then we're going to need another logic block called zero equals zero. You drag that and place it with the true block. And then we're going to go into sprites and grab the my sprite x block. We're going to change that to velocity y, the same as our jump. And we're going to put that in here. So now our character will only jump if the velocity is zero. Let's test that out and see. So it'll jump once. If I try and jump again, it's not going to work until they hit the ground again. So that is all the hard parts out of the way. You can see we can freely explore our level. So we just have a couple things left till we've got a working game. Now to truly make this a game, we're going to need it so we can win and lose the game. And we're going to do that by making it so when our character overlaps either the obstacle blocks we set earlier, they're going to lose. And if they cross the block we put at the end of our level, uh, they'll win. So we do that by going into the game section. Sorry, the scene section. And we want the on sprite of kind player overlaps at location. So we're going to need two of those. We're going to set one to our obstacle blocks. We're going to set one to our end of level block. Then we're going to go into game. We have game over. So we're going to take game over lose into that one. And game over win into that one. So now we can test our game. We go over, we fall into the lava. Game over, we lose. If I try and get all the way to the end of my game, and get to this orb here, we win. And that is our working game. Now that your game is finished, you can share it by either signing in here and it will save your progress. If you hit this here, share project, you'll have a link here that you can copy. Now your game is ready to play. We've been able to create a level, design a character and add obstacles to overcome everything a basic game needs. If you like, you don't have to stop there. You can add all kinds of features like adding sounds when you win or lose, adding enemies or even more levels. We'd love to hear all about how you build on the basics we covered in this video. Feel free to leave a comment to tell us all about them. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Did you know Aberdeen Science Centre is a registered charity? For over 30 years we've been inspiring a lifelong interest in science, technology, engineering and maths in Aberdeen, the north of Scotland and beyond. If you enjoy videos like these and would like to support us and the rest of our mission, head to aberdeensciencecentre.org slash donate and consider giving us a donation.